Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. And today is Friday. Not just any Friday, today marks the first day of Ramadan. For those of you guys who don't know what Ramadan is, Ramadan is the time of the year where Muslims don't eat. We don't eat whenever the sun is out. So from sunrise to sunset, we cannot consume any food or any beverages, any drinks, water, nada. And we do this for about 30 days. It could be less, could be a little bit more. This is something that we do every year. And at the end of it, we have a big celebration called Eid. And it's pretty much like Christmas. What is that? It's a big celebration at the end, but right now is the first day. So last night, the kids told me that they wanted McDonald's. So the strategy is you stay up all night because that's the only time you could eat. Bella ended up staying up until like 2 in the morning, which is pretty, pretty late for her. Uh, Noah, he stayed up, but I think he stayed up longer than we did. How's your fasting, Nuri? Good. You feel okay? I've been awake since 3 o'clock. You what? I've been awake since 3 o'clock. You have not. You went to sleep. Adam, he knocked out. But this year, it's going to be a first for Noah. And Adam, he's too young, so he's not going to be doing that. Yo, guys, we just got a package. I really don't know what it is because we didn't order anything. I mean, I do got something on order, but... I have a feeling I know who it's from. Well, we're going to find out right now. Are you sure you didn't order something? I've ordered a billion things, but that's not one of them. Okay, I guess. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it says uh, Ramadan Mubarak. We love and appreciate you so much. The guess who? Sarah. Yeah, Al Katina. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. Cool. Super cute. So check this out. We got some dates, some treats, some nuts. Wait, we don't even have dates. Yeah, that's why we're about to go to the store because I'm like a super procrastinator. But technically, we could break our fast with dates. Yep. So. Thank you, Sarah. Thanks. Super sweet. Check it out. <sighs> okay, serious face on. I'm gonna look at you. Just go ahead. What's up, you guys? Ramadan Mubarak to you all. My fondest memory I want to talk about. During Ramadan, I think I started fasting, I was about six, seven years old. And one of my fondest memories is, you know, my parents trying to bribe us, right? Not to make us do it or anything if we couldn't or if we felt sick, like we didn't, we didn't have to do that. But to practice, so they would bribe us with either candy or money and we would look forward to that all day. Mind you, back then it was in the winter time, so we were breaking fast, at, I want to say maybe after 4 or 4.30. I think we had a little bit of a hard time, but by the time you got home from school, there was like an hour left. So it really wasn't that bad. You did your homework and then it was time to break fast. Are you kidding me? We got another box? There you go, Amazon. Mace, are you sure we didn't like just order a bunch of stuff just to make today better? Or easier. I always order a bunch of stuff, but I hope that the packages come after you go to work so you don't know. Oh my gosh. Well, now I <laughs> wonder... Amazon is slacking. Why is it here when you're home? <laughs> so, do you remember what that is? No, I don't. There's too much to remember. Okay, so what is it? It's an Ramadan buff. Oh, a Rama Dan story. Isn't it cute? Yeah, that's pretty nice. I got like 25 more, but this is the only one that came today. Are you kidding me? I remember my first Ramadan, I was a young adult. And when you're a young adult, you feel like you're invincible. I didn't do anything to prep for it. I just went in not eating. I remember my job at the time, I was working at a factory. And this factory was hot. It was hot all year round because we made boxes. 
And we had this machine, it's called a corrugator, which was always hot and it was always steamy. And that steam would flow across the warehouse. We had ventilation, but it was still always humid. And that was the day that I went into work and tried to fast. I went through it, but it was the hardest thing that I've ever done in my life. The hardest thing. Because when you're working, you're moving around, you're sweating. You're sweating on a normal day, every day. And not to drink water. <laughs> oh, that was the hardest thing. I remember calling Mace and I was like, yo, how am I going to get through this? This is hard. This is difficult. I can't do it. I'm not going to make it. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. She would always tell me, no, just push through it. You're going to get rewarded like a lot because, you know, the, it's difficult. The difficult level for you is, is high. So just push through it. You can do it. I, I trust you. I believe you. I know you can do it. And I was like, whatever you say. Um, I had encouragement from other people too, but it was not easy. Oh, guys, it was a long night. Uh, we stayed up super late last night. And right now, everybody's just waking up. It's a little after noon, but let's check in. Adam, what are you doing, man? What? What are you? I'm oh, you're playing, uh, what is this, Minecraft? Yeah, but I'm trying to see if dolphins can get out as an experiment. Oh, cool. What are you doing, Noah? I'm trying to keep myself motivated, but... I think I'm gonna break my fast soon. Why? I'm getting really, really hungry. Oh my gosh. Noah, you can do it. Come on, man. You can do it. Bella, what are you doing? I'm playing Roblox. How come you went to sleep early last night? We were all awake. You went to bed like at 2 in the morning. I'm weak. Mm, you, all you ate was fries. Do you even remember eating fries? Mom said that you were dancing. Hi. So at school, I remember it was really nice actually. It was surprising because I lived in like a predominantly white neighborhood. But the ladies in the office were super nice and they knew we were fasting. So what they would do is at lunchtime, they came up with this thing to call me into the office. And if they were needed papers to be printed or stuff to be stapled, that's what I would do during my lunchtime to pass the time so I didn't have to be with the kids. And they didn't have to do that. So I honestly forgot their names. But if they see this and you know what I'm talking about, thank you. Because that was a big help. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. Hold up. Wait a minute. It's a chopper. <laughs> hey, guys. So we are here at Target and covering my face because it's mandatory now. We have to cover our face. And he looks hot. <laughs> but we're looking for some knickknacks for the kids, but uh, we don't really see any. There's, there's nothing. There's Apparently nothing. when quarantine happened, everybody's like, oh my god, let's go buy all the board games. All right, Mesa, what do you got so far? We got some silly string. We got some puzzles. Some ribbon to put on the bags. We're still going. Yeah, obviously we're not at Target anymore. They didn't have anything. We're at Dollar Tree right now, so. Dollar Tree is where it's at. Just trying to find stuff to keep the kids busy, so. I have never appreciated food as much as I did that night. Because I ate my food and I was grateful. I was thankful. I was like, thank God. Thank you. Thank you for this food that I am about to receive right now because... I desperately need it. But the reason why we fast is to self-reflect and also it's to humble you. And that day, I think it did just that. Because there's people out there who legit can't eat because they don't have money, they're out on the streets, they lost their job, they don't, they have no means. And this is how they feel every day. And for me doing that for the first day, it was an eye-opener. 